No, this which uh, the one yesterday, the what was it Microsoft and all those ones was on. He got banned from chat, but just not even spamming, just you know saying negative shit like everyone else was. And I'm like, yeah, all right, let's jump in and I'll we'll have a look at um, we'll see how quickly I can get banned from chat. And I didn't want to do it the easy way. I di didn't want to just be auto modded off. I wanted someone to actually you know give me the chop and. So this morning's stream was for Square Enix. And I'm like, okay, so I'm into that. And like, I haven't watched a E3 for years. So I've not into hype. There's no fun announcements that have tickled my fancy for quite a while across the board. Like, just not in that stage anymore. Not in that state of mind anymore. Like, but we sort of got through and... Um, I was trying to, I was trying my best, I'm trying my best, like, uh, I think I got auto modded once, um, they had, they had, like, the live chat with, like, four of the original Xbox developers, and I was making fun of, like, I, I said Boomer at one point, because one of them had, like, an original Pong cabinet in their background, like, oh, this Boomer's alright, but yeah, auto modded, um, they mentioned Muhammad Ali, I mentioned Muhammad Ali um, making, <laughs> I mentioned Muhammad Ali creating the vibrating controller because of Parkinson's, like that's an old joke, that's, we used to do that about Michael J. Fox when he got diagnosed, but it was quite tough and just, yeah, like I think Soyboy got in, but it was actually hilarious um, watching the Twitch chat just degenerate into, like obviously a lot of people have got issues with the industry as a whole at the moment because I think it started at like 225,000 followers when we started watching um, when the Boomer Xbox devs came on by the end of it it was down to 175,000 and it was just people I, I someone had like a um, filthy Frank sleepy emote and that was just being posted um, there was like Boomer, Soy Boy just kept going and the thing that got me banned from chat was me posting chat mods can you please ban me I need to have a poo <laughs> that's the one that did me and I just thought that was hilarious I had to ask the mods politely to ban me it was just hilarious but um I just wanted to just touch on yeah what's come out in the last couple of days so as of so the Square Enix one was this morning previous morning was was xbox and um ubisoft happened yeah <laughs> i don't even know um i did watch Vinny watch the um the devolver digital one today like even he's not impressed he's like yeah great you're doing something different but you're still a you know, gaming publisher trying to shill your shit um yeah great empire age of empires 4 haven't been relevant rts's haven't been relevant for years guys just stop like i actually did that i pirated the um the command and conquer remastered collection i was not impressed the um the upscaling on the cutscenes was the best part because it had like some weird anti-aliasing filter that just made it all like blurry and shit um even the remastered soundtrack wasn't super great um anna Cruz's, no idea um plague tale requiem didn't play the first one. Um, this one intrigued me because this looks like um, Steve Pemberton's character in uh, The League of Gentlemen. The the ones that run the, the local shop. Um, but yeah, that, that got a lot of uh, thing, uh, a lot of traction. Looked Bioshocky. Um, Back for Blood, don't care, don't know. Battlefield, have not cared about Battlefield for many years, I think. It was one of the reasons I stopped buying EA products because there was just shitty support for um, Battlefield 4 when I had it. Um, contraband, no idea. Something about smuggling from the Just Cause guys. Um, oh yeah, fucking um, Candice from uh, Thinger, uh, Phineas and Ferb is in the um, new Dark, yeah, Dark Pictures anthology game. Didn't look that great. Yeah, a lot of their stuff hasn't really intrigued. They've toned in the violence. I think that was a big thing for me. Because, um, yeah, I remember when Until Dawn came out, 
and the like PS4 had sort of just came out and they could kind of push the graphical edge a bit and the dismemberment kind of fun. Um, Diablo 2 reboot, don't care. I have not cared about reboots for a while now. Like, I'm sick of seeing them. Just stop. Don't care. Um, yeah, Elden Ring got a lot of traction. Um, I had to laugh at that because I didn't want to watch any of the trailers either because, yeah, just seeing, like, the reaction, coom, the soy boy coom face videos just didn't... No, the audience, like, like yeah, if they were going to cut to audience members because it's always the guy with the hipster glasses, the soy beard, just going... Ugh. It's all good. Um... But they actually used it, uh, apparently the the end of the um, Battlefield trailer had that, just reactions from soy boy streamers, which I thought was, yeah, pretty funny. Um, yep, Elden Ring went on for a bit, uh, Endless Dungeon, don't care. Uh, official Evil Dead game with, I, I think they actually roped in uh, Bruce Campbell, just kind of shill it. Not sure, it's not going to have the big budget that we kind of want. But, yeah, could be okay. Um, yeah, they went on about Far Cry 6. They interviewed um, Giancarlo Esposito for that one. Um, yeah, that's apparently the season pass. You can play the game as the previous villains from 3, 4, and 5. Wow. Um, Stranger Proud. Oh, yeah, this one was the... Um, so Team Ninja, the guys who do um, Neo and all the other ones. Uh, but with Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah, yeah, and there's big memes about um, the three heroes out to kill chaos. Like, <laughs> how fucking edgelord is that? Like, that's that statement would have been edgelord for many a good year. Like, yeah. Um, pixel remasters for the Final Fantasies, one through six. Um, no collection. I think these are all going to be, like, individually sold for, like... 12 bucks each like they've been doing on the um the app stores and stuff like that don't care uh forza don't care no idea what gorilla collective is oh indie showcase yeah big deal hello infinite don't fucking care um yeah hideo kojima don't care Jurassic world evolution don't care they even roped in jeff goldblum for the um for the the, the plug lego don't care. Oh, Monument Valley, but Lego. I like this. Uh, yeah, you don't want PC Gamer because you've just given me the quick rundown on every game. Um, there is just too many games as well. That's an issue. Yeah, they went on for ages about Guardians of the Galaxy and it just looks terrible. And I, I, I was talking about that with Matey. It's like you just did a Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale game a few years ago and it still had like dialogue trees and choices you can make like it just seems redundant to me um but yeah that looks stupid uh metal slug tactics oh there was an rts based on metal slug like just give us another metal slug i could get more of that yeah no they haven't been good for years because i think their publishers the dot mu guys who like broke out yeah, got a bit of traction because they made a decent um, Streets of Rage sequel, but have just been, like, just rebooting old games to, to play on your phone. Pointless. Um, Microsoft Flight Sims coming to Xbox Series X. Big deal. Um, Monster Hunter Stories. Like, I'm, I'm a Monster Hunter fan, but stories I don't give a fuck about. Um, yeah, this, this one just didn't seem... This made no sense to me. Like, Outer Worlds 1 did not do well. And yeah, I think one of the presenters like, oh, listen to the witty dialogue. And I'm just like, fuck off. I I, I couldn't stand the um, presenters for, um, yeah, I think I had one of the guys from the Nerdist. And I'm like, Nerdist hasn't been relevant until since, like, they tried, uh, Chloe Dijkstra tried to cancel Chris Hardwick. Like, couldn't give a fuck otherwise. Psychonauts 2, the hype's gone. The hype has been gone. It's, it's, this has been in development for more than 10 years now. Could not care less. Um, Rainbow Six, couldn't care less. Uh, Redfall, oh, this looked woke and teeny boppy as all fuck. Um, oh, it's by Arcane. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trust Arcane to not... Yeah, like, I've always said about that, like... 
Arcane exists because the original devs won't make the really good games they used to. It's like, oh, let's make, um, let's let's do a new version of Ultima Underworld. Here you go. Here's Arx Fatalis. Uh, let's do a new System Shock. Yeah, all right. Here's Prey. Um, they they have improved it. Like I've I've kind of been on board with Arcane. Like I like what they do, but it could be better. Just just saying. Um, replace. Don't care about. 2.5D Cyberpunk action platformer. No. Who not care? Um, Riders Republic. MMO follow up to Steep. Yeah, no one gave a shit about Steep. Um, like, uh, this for Rocksmith, I was impressed it's getting with the times. Apparently, instead of using a cable connection, you can use a mobile app to pick up, like, your guitar things, and you can do. Oh! Oh, and they've done a subscription. Of course they have. Yeah, yeah. Of course they have. Um, don't really know about Salt and Sacrifice. I've heard Salt and Sanctuary is good. Like, the aesthetics were very similar to, um, like, apparently uh, Blasphemous was inspired by that. Um, no idea if it's any good. Um, yeah, Jack Sparrow's in Sea of Thieves. Um, I... I counter argued with can we have like an amber herd simulator where you try to cancel johnny depp like just <laughs> dedicated button to like shit in his bed oh that'd be cool yeah that's uh, that actually didn't get me banned either i just i i kept pushing the narrative on the band uh, i'm trying to get banned from the twitch chat and yeah it just didn't work mm. sorry about the throat like i said i stayed up to watch three and I'm tired uh Sifu Kung Fu Brawler from the creators of Absolver yeah Absolver didn't write me in the sad, sad to say it didn't because it had potential like the Kung Fu Dark Souls thing was kind of cool but it just it filters new players pretty yeah, pretty hard um no one cared about Slime Ranch 1 Slime Ranch 2 is going to be more of the same well no I say that like people liked it but there apparently wasn't enough content um, Solar Ash. Oh, Hyperlight Drifter. I couldn't, I wanted to play that, but it crashed on me a fair bit. I actually couldn't get that working. Um, Somerville, Indie Adventure during an Alien Apocalypse. Don't want to tell us devs or anything. Um, Stalker 2, um, but from the looks of things, it's console only for now. Um, oh, and, okay, it's coming on Xbox Game Pass. Cool. Yep. Yeah, a little tired of gaming subscriptions. All uh, subscriptions, like, no, we don't want to do that. Um, next big RPG from Bethesda in space, Starfield. Yep. I can start, couldn't give a shit about Bethesda anymore. Tales of Rise. I'm, someone's told me Tales is good, but yeah, I haven't gone back and played the old ones. I think I've got one sitting there from like the PS1 era. Um, Borderlands spin-off with Tony Tina. They, can, they got in big voices for some reason. Will Arnett, Andy Samberg, Wanda Sykes. Um, I know... I don't know if she's writing or anything, but Ashley Birch hasn't been relevant for fucking 10 years now. Um, college management sim from the guys who brought you uh, Two Point Hospital. Yep. <laughs> even for... Even Sega, of all things, has not been relevant for a while. Like... I think Funk showed me the trailer for, um, they were trying to do like a Nintendo Direct thing and they had to legit like scrape the bottom of the barrel for like Sega and Sonic related content. Like they're doing an Olympic game, Olympic games game for Tokyo 2020 where you can play as Sonic. It's like big fucking deal. Who cares? Just nothing in that trailer excited me either. Um, Valorant, don't care. Um, God Hunt. Oh god, yeah. No, I heard I was reading about this one. So um the yeah, so they were doing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, but that's had issues. It's been shelved until they get a, get a new dev. But it looks like they're using the assets from that for some fucking free to play bullshit. No thanks. No thanks. Never never cared about Watch Dogs. Don't care about Watch Dogs Le Watch Dogs Legion. Story DLC, big fucking deal. Um, what other exciting stuff was in there? 
Um, oh yeah, Ubisoft had like the Mario and Rabbids sequel. Um, but, 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 not in person. Uh, Ned Beatty died? Aww. No one fucking, when was it? Today? Aww. Um, so, for those not know, this is the guy that was, um, the villain, uh, from Toy Story 3, the Hugs a Lot Bear. He's also the guy that got raped in Deliverance. He squealed like a pig hard. Well, that sucks. No, that's, that's a shame. No, he had a few good roles under his belt, just for here and there. Uh, rip Ned Beatty then. That sucks. But this is, yeah, this is pretty much... How I feel about it. Like, that was the other thing. Um, if you get banned from a Twitch chat, you can actually put in a text request to be unbanned, which I'd never done before. Like, I'm a good boy. I don't, I don't get to banned from Twitch chat. But I basically wrote, yeah, I'm like, can you put in text? And Maddie's like, yeah, yeah. So I put in the text of, um, the gaming industry needs to die and be reborn. All these, like, soy boy, you know, consumer followers need to die in a trash fire, go to hell, and free Hong Kong. Like, fucking... That's, that's exactly how I feel about the whole thing. It just... Creativity needs to breed again. It's been bred out of gaming. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals... <laughs> 